dual band Wi-Fi, both 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz, so that could make a big difference on the crap because Wi-Fi is getting crowded. There's these very nice screens. Uh, they're not, they're using Android, but they never mention that because it's a highly customized Android. That's kind of one of the big question marks of these. Uh, it, until I get a hold of one, of course I ordered them and I will have, by this time next week I'll have uh, the 7 inch version. Um, the software was kind of, uh, the operations were kind of mediocre on the last Kindle Fire. We'll see if it's better on this one. It needs to be because it's competing now with a much broader spectrum of devices. There's Google's Nexus 7, that's, that's made by Asus in a very nice $200 tablet. And Apple, of course, has the iPad. It's more than twice as much, but I, they're going to announce many iPads, we think, next month. Maybe they'll be in the same price range. So it's a competitive market. But here's where Amazon has a huge advantage. And it's really uh, a way that the industry has changed dramatically. In the early days of the technology industry, it was, it was all about, I'll, I'll say from, uh, say, 1990 on. Not the earliest earliest days, but by the time the IBM PCs and compatibles were pretty widespread, it was all about inexpensive hardware, expensive software made by Microsoft and others. Then we'll kind of set that on its head by making...